Now that you're charged up, plugged in and ready to rock, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about managing presets. There are 12 banks in the Variax and each bank has five model presets. I'm gonna to refer to model presets as presets to make it shorter and easier for this video. For example, in the Shuriken Bank, there are five presets. Shuriken, Shuriken Spank, Drop A, and so on. To edit a model preset, double click on it. An arrow appears to the left of the preset you are currently editing. You can see where these presets are saved in the five-way position indicator here. On a conventional guitar, this would be the neck position, and this would be the bridge position. Any changes made to the open preset will result in the preset name changing its color to red with an asterisk on the right hand side. This indicates you've edited the preset but your changes haven't been saved yet. If you want to undo your edits and restore the preset you've changed to its original state, make sure the edited preset is selected, then click download from Variax. This process restores the original preset before any edits were made. This is good to know if you mess something up when you're editing. You can also select revert to original under edit in the top menu and this will restore changes made to an unsaved preset. Just to be clear, this function only affects the preset that is currently open so make sure you pay attention to that little arrow. If you make an edit that you want to save, make sure the edited model is selected then hit Upload to Variax. If you want to restore or save multiple presets you've edited, select one of the presets you want to save, hold Command on Mac or Alt on PC and then select the remaining presets that you want to save or restore. Then click either Download from Variax to revert these presets to their original state or click Upload to Variax if you want to save these edits into the Variax brain. The revert to original option in the edit menu only works on the preset that is actually open, not presets that are selected. Remember you can tell which preset is open by the little arrow to the left of the preset's name. The upload all to Variax button uploads all 60 presets from Workbench HD to the Variax brain, irrespective of whether you've edited them or not. This can take a little bit of time, so I recommend selecting the individual presets you wish to save or restore and doing it that way. You can reorder presets within a bank by dragging the preset you want to move to the desired position. So if I wanted to move T-Model 5 to where T-Model 3 is, I just click, drag, drop. Now it recognizes these have been moved and they show up as edits. So if I want to save my edits, or discard, let's say save, I would select these three models that are now red, hit upload to Variax. Let's say I want to discard these changes, I'd go download from Variax. And now the order is as it was before. If you want to replace a preset within a bank, hold option on Mac or control on PC, then click and drag the source preset onto the target preset. This function copies the source preset and pastes it onto the target preset. This method also works if you hold Option on Mac or Control on PC and click and drag a preset outside of the bank it resides in onto a target preset in another bank. Again, notice the source preset remains unchanged. If you want to swap one preset for another, you just have to hold Shift, click and drag the preset you want to swap and drop it on the preset you want to swap it with. I find this particularly particularly useful when I'm managing my presets for 12 foot ninja. If you want to replace or swap entire banks at the same time, similar principles apply. To replace an entire bank, click the header of your source bank, which selects all presets within that bank, then drag onto the target bank. Now all the presets in the source bank are copied to the target bank. To swap an entire bank, click the source bank, hold shift, then drag onto the target bank. Now all of the presets in the source bank have been swapped with all of the presets in the target bank. Remember you can undo changes made by selecting the edited presets and clicking the download from Variax button. The easiest way to rename a preset you're editing is by double clicking that preset in the five way position indicator at the top of the screen. Once you do that, type in your new preset name. You can also select the preset you want to rename in the preset list on the left, then click and hold until the option appears to rename the preset. 
If I want to save that new preset name, I click Upload to Variax. If I want to revert to the original name, I click Download from Variax. I hope that was helpful. In the next video, we'll be getting into the nitty gritty of building custom presets. If you like this video and want to know when more come out, subscribe to the Shuriken Guitars channel.